The Black Belt Super Heavyweight Final up next, Felipe Trovo versus Thomas Bratcher. We have Felipe Trovo out of Autos in San Diego. Tom Bratcher out of Gracie Baja in the UK. All the way over here for the Nogi Panion Championships. I believe this is his first finals of a Nogi major at the adult level, the black belt adult level. Felipe straight into a pull. And again, we see a lot of this seated guard um, today in the heavier divisions. I would say it's fair to say that in the lower weight divisions, we see a little more of a supine guard in the heavier, middle to heavier categories, a much more seated. So we're in the eye here for Thomas Brazier, but we'll get right back to action. Provo gesturing that he wants to sit guard and then deciding maybe I'll wrestle. If you're looking for a second to go into close guard, seemed not quite able to get there, clearing the ties off. Close guard, a smart idea against somebody who is, is as good a lateral passer as Thomas Brasher. Brasher has a really explosive passive style, but it seemed like in that last sequence, if he had slowed down just slightly, he might have been able to actually capitalize on the position. He cut the angle on Trovo, he got in on the body lock, but he backtracked too fast and wasn't really able to get much going. Yeah, yeah sometimes the key to these kinds of passes is knowing when to explode and then when to settle in and not lose the position that you have, that you've gained. We see really excellent passers explode and then secure, and then maybe do another big explosive movement and secure. I think of passers like Tynan Dalpra, right, for example. He's an excellent example of that. And then I think to your point, Kendall, is the difference between being explosive and being dynamic. Trova comes out on top and he will gain a two point lead over Tom with 7.30 left. Kind of an interesting position to come up on top into if you think about Philippe Trova's left arm kind of uh, stapling down the top leg of Tom Bridger. for a toe hold, Trovo now. Really getting some torque there on that top leg, but he doesn't have an isolation of the leg yet, but some getting some torque nonetheless. But now Tom answering with a heel, with an outside heel hook of his own. Excuse me, inside. Brazier now, if he comes to his knee, will secure a, uh, a two-point exchange here, but Trovo chasing the heel hook, so Brazier will have to wait to come up. This grip looks legitimate. Felipe Trovo is gonna get the finish on the heel hook. Kind of lulled Brazier to sleep there a little bit and then immediately turned the torque up on the heel hook. Felipe Trovo with the submission win will become a Nogi Pan champion. Big smile for Felipe Trovo, who comes up with the submission victory over Thomas Brazier to win his first Nogi Pants title. 